Sapling offers different types of synchronized clock systems utilizing different technologies, such as wired clock systems, wireless clock systems, an IPPoE clock system, and a Wi-Fi clock system. This video will guide you through configuring all mandatory settings for Sapling Wi-Fi clocks. We will also demonstrate how to set and save one clock's configuration and apply it to other Sapling Wi-Fi clocks by using Sapling's Wi-Fi Direct Loader software. If you are using a Sapling Master Clock with your Wi-Fi clock system, it is important to set and install your Master Clock before installing any Wi-Fi clocks. Before beginning, take note of what will help you successfully complete the configuration. A Wi-Fi network that uses an 802.11 B, G, or N protocol. Either internet access, a Sapling Master Clock, or an in-house NTP server. If you are using a Sapling Master Clock or an in-house NTP server, confirm with your network administrator that it is set with a static IP address. A local firewall open on ports 80, 123, and 1777. A computer, tablet, or smartphone with Wi-Fi capabilities. Sapling's network clock monitoring software and Wi-Fi direct loader software. A copy of the installation manual. You may also wish to make a record of clock serial numbers and the locations at which they will be installed, so you can easily locate each specific clock. If you are using an analog Wi-Fi clock, begin by removing the pin lock on the back of the clock. For either analog or digital Wi-Fi clocks, start by powering one clock. If you are powering the clock for the first time, it will automatically start in direct mode. In direct mode, a Wi-Fi clock acts as its own wireless access point and can be accessed from any nearby Wi-Fi capable computer. A computer may lose connection to the internet while accessing a clock in direct mode. So finish this video or download your clock's manual before proceeding. If this is not your first time powering this clock, placing a clock into direct mode requires a few additional steps. For analog Wi-Fi clocks, press and release the right side Wi-Fi switch button on the movement twice. The orange LED on the back of the movement will light up and remain solid to indicate the clock is in direct mode. For digital Wi-Fi clocks, press and release the top button on the front panel twice. The clock will show an indication that it has entered direct mode. Go to your computer and check available wireless networks. Refresh the list of available networks until you see a network with one of the names shown. Note that the last four digits of this network name will change based on the serial number of your clock. Connect to this network. Next, open a web browser. In the URL field, enter the web address 192.168.240.1 slash login.html. On the login page, enter the password 6063 and click Submit to log in. Then, click on the Network Settings button. In the Select Network field, select the name of your Wi-Fi network from the drop-down menu. If your Wi-Fi network name is hidden or does not appear on this list, manually enter your network name in the Network field. Then, enter your network password. Sapling Wi-Fi clocks are set to DHCP as standard. If you wish to set a static IP address, change DHCP to OFF and enter a new IP address, subnet mask, gateway address, and DNS address as provided by your network administrator. These settings will not be copied over when using the Wi-Fi direct loader software. So if all clocks are being assigned static IP addresses, they will need to be manually entered into each clock. This can be done either before connecting each clock to the network while in direct mode, or after each clock has been connected to the network by using the clock's built-in web interface. If your network uses WPA2 Enterprise Encryption, click on the Enterprise Settings button. Enter a username for Radius Authentication, select the Outer Authentication Scheme, and click Submit. 
While in the Network Settings section, you can also name the clock. The clock's name will appear in Sapling's Network Clock Monitoring software for easy identification. Each clock should be given a unique name based on its location. For example, Room 101 or Cafeteria. If you are naming the clock, be sure to label the back of the clock with its name and place each clock in the correct location corresponding to its name. You can assign names to other clocks in the system through each clock's built-in web interface after connecting them to the network. We recommend keeping a list of the clock serial numbers, which can be found on the back of each clock, along with the locations the clocks will be installed at for use when you reach this stage. Next, go back to the home page of the web interface and click on General Settings. Select the Time Setting section, where you will set the clock to your local time zone. Enter the GMT or UTC offset for your time zone. For example, New York City is minus 5 hours GMT, so the value minus 5 would be entered into this field. For time zones that use a half hour or 15 minute offset from GMT, enter this time in seconds into the bias seconds field. For example, in a country with a GMT offset of plus 5 hours and 30 minutes, the user will enter plus 5 as the GMT offset and plus 1800 as the bias seconds. If your time zone does not use a half hour or 15 minute offset from GMT, leave this field as zero. Click the Change button to confirm your settings. Back in the General Settings section, select Daylight Saving Time. You can set Daylight Saving Time by the day of the week in the month, by a specific date, or by the rules of a specific country. For regions that do not observe Daylight Saving Time, please make sure to select None. Click Submit to save your settings. If your Wi-Fi clock will be taking time data from a Sapling Master Clock or an in-house NTP time server, return to the General Settings section and select Servers. Uncheck the Rotate Servers box and enter the IP address of the Sapling Master Clock or your in-house NTP time server in the field next to the red dot. Click Submit to save your settings. This completes the mandatory settings that must be configured in each Sapling Wi-Fi clock. For instructions on configuring various optional settings, please review the clock manual on our website. After you have set one Wi-Fi clock, Sapling's Wi-Fi Direct Loader software allows you to rapidly apply those settings to other clocks of the same type in the system. An analog clock settings can be duplicated to other analog Wi-Fi clocks, while a digital clock settings can be duplicated to other digital Wi-Fi clocks. Before proceeding, gather all Sapling Wi-Fi clocks into a single room. Sapling's Wi-Fi Direct Loader is provided on a CD along with the network clock monitoring software, but can also be obtained on our website at the link shown. Note that opening the Wi-Fi Direct Loader software will take your computer off its current Wi-Fi network. If you need to access your network or the internet while running the software, Connect your computer to the network using a network cable. Start the Wi-Fi Direct Loader by double-clicking on the application. Enter 6063 in the password field. Next, power the clock that you configured the settings for. If this is an analog Wi-Fi clock, press and release the right side Wi-Fi switch button on the movement twice to put it into direct mode. If this clock is a digital Wi-Fi clock, Place it into direct mode by pressing and releasing the top button on the front panel twice. The clock should appear in the direct loader within 30 seconds. In direct loader, click on the clock's name and then click on Upload from Selected Clock. Save the configuration file to an easily accessible location, such as your desktop or My Documents folder. Click on Select Configuration File and choose the configuration file that you saved from the first clock. Confirm that the type of file selected matches the type of clock you configured. Then, under the Options menu, select Auto Run. In Auto Run mode, as long as your computer is within range of the Wi-Fi clocks, the direct loader will detect all sapling Wi-Fi clocks that are powered and in direct mode. Power the clocks you are setting, 
and the direct loader will then apply your saved configuration to all clocks of the same type that it detects. If any of these clocks are not being powered for the first time, you will have to manually place them in direct mode. Detected clocks can be identified by their serial number. When the settings have been successfully applied to a clock, it will disappear from the direct loader. After the configuration has been downloaded to each clock, you can exit Wi-Fi Direct Loader as your Wi-Fi clock system is ready to use. The clocks may be powered down, then mounted following the instructions in the manual. Once the clocks have been installed and repowered, you can supervise the clocks, make system-wide changes, and double-click to access each clock's built-in web interface using Sapling's network clock monitoring software. If you have any questions, please contact your dedicated Sapling representative.